Okay guys, so today I've got this 1978 Matchbox tow truck that I got at a garage sale. I paid $2 for this on eBay. I looked it up and it was like $45 or something like that. I don't remember. But um, I looked this up because I've never seen these wheels before from Matchbox. And so I looked it up and these are the correct wheels for this truck. Everything's correct on this truck. Ah. Okay, so this is... Uh, there you go. It's from 1978. The Matchbox Super Kings. Peter built. This is made in Maku, so this is not a Lesney. This is after the uh, Lesney years. Which I did not realize that... Uh, they were already being made in Maku in 1978, but apparently they were. Um, maybe not all of them. I don't know for sure, but um, this one was made in Maku, and uh, this truck is incredibly detailed for as small as it is. Um, maybe not so much... I mean, it's very detailed with, like, the casting, but, um, I mean, like, everything that it does, which I will show you in a minute. First, we'll look at it. The, uh, decals on it are all, uh, still in good shape. Actually, everything on the truck's in extremely good shape. I've only found a, a few chips in various places. And then there's a few spots on the bumper. Got the Peterbilt logo. I don't know, my camera probably won't focus on that. No. But it's there. Oh, there. We got it on the side there. I guess it was on the other side too, but I didn't see it then. This is the city police. These little hooks are metal. So, you know, they don't, they don't break off or get bent or anything. I thought that was neat. So, I'll show you what's so cool about this truck, and I'll just go from the front to the back. This truck steers. It doesn't have rubber tires on it, they're just hard plastic tires, but it steers really well like it's got rubber tires on it. It doesn't really slide around too much. Um, probably because it's so heavy. I mean, you know, the the cab's die cast, the chassis's die cast, and so's the uh, tow bed on it. So, it's got some weight to it. And uh, then in the middle here... Let me put it on something so you can see. The uh, feet come out on it, whatever you want to call them, so that, you know, if this truck has to, uh, you know, pick something up out of a ditch or something, it doesn't, you know, tip over because it's got these arms on it. And then let me loosen these up. I think this is the original string too because it's yellow. But it may not be, I don't know. The hooks are in good shape. But, you know, the uh, arms swing out on it, just like on a real tow truck. Um, they don't go too much that, you know, the opposite way. But they they swing out pretty far each, uh, each way like that. And uh, it's kind of dusty back there, isn't it? Got some toolboxes. That's cool. Uh, 
and then you can put the little hook hook the hooks on this little bumper here then this thing pulls out and um, this truck's supposed to have a little uh, well, what do you want to call it the little cart thing that uh, the car rides on I I can't think what that's called right now but um, it's also got this little thing that pulls out on it and I bet these hooks work pretty good I'm just gonna use this because it's handy obviously it'll pull this but that's what's out and handy Then I'll pull this thing out all the way. Well, I'm not having much luck. I thought I'd use this little dump truck because it was handy, but... You get the idea. It pulls it around. And, you know, this kind of turns as the truck turns so that, you know, your car doesn't go skidding across the road. And here's what I was talking about with the the hooks. Just hook on this little bumper back here. I don't want to make them real tight, but they're on there. So I was extremely impressed with this truck and for two dollars I felt like it was an excellent buy especially because I don't have any Super Kings that are this nice um, so tell me guys uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one Oh, and I'll put this on the turntable for you. I'm driving this truck on a mountain road. I got a hot rod rig and I'm a flying low. My tires are filled with diesel smoke. Hairpin curves ain't no joke. Diesel smoke. Dangerous girl. I was out last night drinking beer with a guy. He's got an ache in the head and bloodshot eyes. I met up with a pretty little name. I didn't even know her name.